All right. Here is our fuel sample, 20 milliliters. You can see the bottom of the meniscus right there is dead in line with the line. Um, this is baseline testing on the generator. Usually I do this type of testing before I uh, continue to the variable testing, but I wanted to see what would happen. SSC beat me to the punch, so we had to play around. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a 20 mil test, no load. It's been, the engine has been preheated. We'll take a temperature sample at the head and at the exhaust manifold. Okay. Looks like about 243 is about the hottest spot I'm getting. Okay, exhaust manifold. About 336, 335, about the hottest spot I'm getting. All right. I also have a digital tack. Um, sometimes acts funny. Just changed the batteries in it, so hopefully that corrected the issue. The mark is right there. It's getting a little sideways. Let me stick that back on there a little better. Yeah, that's the reflective tape for the digital tack. So I'm going to set the camera. Actually, watch me pour the fuel. That way you guys know what I put into it. It's 87 octane. Radial gas. Make sure every bit of it gets down in there. Okay, there's the fuel. Barely see it right at the end of the barb. It's now all in the in the float bowl. I'm gonna set this up on the tripod. There. And in true D3 fashion, I'm gonna give this thing a start. Try it with a choke off real quick. Okay. Let the time begin. This is a no load test, obviously. Make sure the camera's got a good view. Yep. There will be coming up a 500 watt halogen light bulb test followed up by two 500 watt halogen light bulb tests. That way we can see the fuel rate, fuel consumption um, with zero load, one third load, and two thirds max load. Try and get a temperature sample while it's running. You guys seen the temperatures? Let's see if I can't get a RPM. Yeah. See if my RPM gauge isn't working. Gotta love that. Thank you, Taiwan. Laser comes on. All right, 
So there's the engine dead. I wish we could get some RPM information out of it, but the tack isn't cooperating. I'm not sure why. So that's that end of it. Next we'll be doing a 500 watt load. See you then.